Chen joins us because we're talking about all these amazing, you know, preserves and tomatoes, but sometimes you want really nice packaging for all of this. You can get yes. great gifts, right? Yeah. Give it to people after all the work you've done. So uh, you went shopping around for some beautiful packaging. We're going to start with jam, so your new fixation. My favorite thing. So if you are someone who's going to jam and preserve at home when you want to, you want to dress it up a bit for giftable items, yeah. um, I found some great things on Etsy. So for example, look, aren't these cute? These they're little cute. embroidered jam jar covers. They're, they're so, very old school. They are. There's something kind of retro about yeah, them, but I it's like a it. nice way to dress up the jar of jam that you just made. Yes. Um, there's also great tags that you can uh, pick up as well. So I also got these on Etsy from Confetti Prints and they personalized them for you and Leo, these, okay, uh, these ones. Okay, so but this one says, <laughs> Leo and Tracy, perfect together, like toast and jam. Yeah! Oh, isn't that cute? Sweet. That is so sweet. So think about like a little bit of ribbon, a little piece of fabric, some tags, some stickers, and that can really amp up your gift for a baby yes. shower, wedding gift. Um, but then I thought, if you're not the person who's going to make the jam, but maybe you're obsessed with buying jam like myself. Oh, right. I really am. I have a lot of jams at home that I've purchased. Um, Kitten and the Bear is one of my favorite. They're a small shop in the West End of Toronto. Yeah. They have an online shop as well. They do small batch, really unique flavors. Like, listen to this, red nectarine and garam masala. Isn't like, that that's yeah, pretty cool. Things that you're not really going to find or, elsewhere. And I kind of sold you on that one. Banana bourbon and <laughs> vanilla bean. Yep. These are great combos and small batches. So you get these really nice, you know, custom made little yeah, jams. Yeah, so I packaged this up sort of like the hostess gift, you know. So here's a really nice tray also found on Etsy. Yeah. And this is a great way to just make something a little bit more unique. Also, I picked up this vintage ink limited edition Merlot Cabernet, which Ooh. I thought has also some of the nice favorite flavors of like plum, blackberry, cherry. Nice. Reminds me of the it jams all as well. Goes together. Yes. So then for like the cheese lover and the entertainer, yep. um, some marmalades I think go really well. And then also, you know, a really nice cutting board. Yep. And crackers, little accessories for your cheese board. And I put them just to show you in these really great bags. And I just want to show you what's I think this is the coolest bag. So it's like a mason jar. It looks jar. like a mason jar and it's it sits bag. flat. So, and there's also these jam jar ones, which I, so I'm obsessed with these because I'm just thinking of when you're packing up your snacks for yes. work or for school, like, aren't these adorable? Oh my gosh. Yes, and it would make your kids eat their lunch. It's <laughs> it just so be like, cute. There's like, like I want my pretzels? lunch, it's in there. Yes. Uh, the Kickerland reusable zipper bag is eco-friendly, dishwasher safe and leak proof. You're all gonna take a set home. <laughs> Yes. Think about getting them maybe a little recipe book. Uh, also some pickled vegetables. I know we talk about jams all yeah. the time, but also pickling your vegetables. We're going to do some pickling a, a bit later on the Ooh, show. I love yeah. pickles. And then I thought, why not include some Walter Caesar mix? So this is a really great Canadian product. Yeah. All natural, no preservatives, um, no corn syrup, like just the good stuff. Mm. So you, for someone who likes it, experimenting a little bit with flavors, yes. this is a nice thing to package up in a gift. Canada is like the home of the Caesar. It really is. Yes, like we, we do are. Caesars really well, and, this, and that's something to be proud of. You know what? It? If there's something to excel at, it's yeah, the Caesar. it's Caesars. <laughs> well, you're all taking home a one liter bottle of Walter's Craft. <laughs> you know might be interested in uh, preserving or canning themselves yep. want to put together a little like starter kit for them oh, that's so a I thought like idea. a sweet little basket maybe they're picking their own <laughs> fruit and vegetables yeah. um, a food mill and then uh, to give them some ideas I absolutely love this book it's called Bash and it was okay. written by a lovely Toronto couple who just started preserving and started a food blog and it became so popular nice. that they put together a cookbook it has wonderful recipes for the beginner for people who are more advanced yes and all the different different types of preserving, all kinds of ideas in there. Well, on our website, we'll post some recipes from Batch, so be sure to check that out. And thanks to Chapters Indigo and A Random House, you're all taking home a copy of Batch. <laughs> Woo! Started and you're, you know, getting into your jamming and preserving, then you might want to consider things like just little accessories that I picked yep. up at Lee Valley Tool. So, for example, we all know the, the jam jars, mm -hmm. but once you're done with the jars, you're like, well, let's reuse them. Like, I love this little flip top. Oh, so that yeah, you that's can smart. store. So, this is, these are just things I have pulled off my pantry shelf. Like, yeah. I keep my little pastas, I keep my, you that's know, dry nuts and stuff and everything in there. So, just a couple more ideas for you. Now, you got those from Lee Valley, I believe. Yes, Lee the Valley and the basket and the food mill. Yeah.